ESPN Sports Science Lab, draft prospects will be graded based on data collected from our position-specific tests. Next up, Stanford's Zach Ertz. Combining his six foot five frame with a 34 and a half inch vert, Zach Ertz can get a hand on the ball nearly 11 feet four inches off the ground. This means from a standstill, Ertz can provide a quarterback with a target over 3,000 cubic feet, roughly the size of two monster trucks. But to play the position of tight end, Ertz has to be more than just a big target. The position of tight end is really a hybrid between being a running back, a receiver, and O-lineman. Yeah, I think uh, being a tight end, you have to be versatile. Uh, you have to be able to block some big DNs, and you have to be able to be fast enough against some of those DBs. We're going to put you through our tight end gauntlet. Ready to do it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Off the line, Ertz reacts to the timing gates in just 21 hundredths of a second and hits our 300 pound heavy bag with nearly 1,600 pounds of force. That's as much force as we measured by 13-time pro bowler Tony Gonzalez. Like a wall of bodies in the trenches, our 12 by 8-foot wall blocks Ertz's view for more than 40% of the ball's trajectory. He locates and catches the 40-mile-per-hour ball in just 35 hundredths of a second. The action time is fast as sports science alum Vernon Davis. When taking into account this test, as well as several other position-specific tests, Zach Ertz receives an overall score in the 88th percentile. We consider him to be a better NFL prospect than Kobe Fleener. Even at 6'5", 249, Zach Ertz can explode off the line and cover his first five yards in less than a second. That's on par with any receiver prospect we've tested this year. And Ertz was at least 35 pounds heavier than every one of them. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinks.